So a ton of news coming from OpenAI this week. During an all-hands internal meeting, the company discussed its levels of AGI from level one being a measly chatbot to level five being an AI that can do the work of an entire organization. They also discussed what level they believe they're at right now, but we'll get into that later because there was another major leak from OpenAI this week. They've been working on a secret project under the code name Strawberry, which supposedly was able to achieve human level reasoning and could navigate the internet entirely autonomously. Next, we have a new demo of Clone Robotics Robotic Hand, and it's gotten significantly faster and more fluid, as you can see from this clip. We also have a new research paper that figured out how to encode spreadsheets for LLMs so they can understand them better and even manipulate them. So Reuters published this exclusive article recently, which details OpenAI's secret project called Strawberry. This is the first time we hear of this project and somehow Reuters was able to get their hands on actual internal documentation about this project. So let's take a look at what it's all about. They state here, teams inside OpenAI are working on Strawberry, according to a copy of a recent internal OpenAI document seen by Reuters in May. Reuters could not ascertain the precise date of this document, which details a plan for how OpenAI intends to use Strawberry to perform research. The source described the plan to Reuters as a work in progress. The news agency cannot establish how close Strawberry is to being publicly available. It then goes on to say how Strawberry works is a tightly kept secret even within OpenAI. The document describes a project that uses Strawberry models with the aim of enabling the company's AI to not just generate answers to queries, but to plan ahead enough to navigate the internet autonomously and reliably to perform what OpenAI terms deep research. So it's unknown how successful successful they've been with this project since it's so secretive, but the fact that OpenAI is actively working on creating an AI model that can do research is pretty crazy to think about. It later states that the Strawberry project was formerly known as QSTAR, which Reuters reported last year was already seen inside the company as a breakthrough. If you don't remember QSTAR, there was a ton of rumors and speculation going around after this supposed internal email from OpenAI was leaked on 4chan and nothing has really been confirmed about QSTAR besides the fact that that Sam Altman confirmed its existence when Lex Friedman asked him about it on his podcast. <laughs> One can dream. OpenAI is not a good company at keeping secrets. It would be nice, you know, we're like been plagued by a lot of leaks and, and it would be nice if we were able to have something like that. Can you speak to what QSTAR is? We are not ready to talk about that. See, but an answer like that means there's something to talk about. It's very mysterious, Sam. I mean, we work on all kinds of research. Yeah. Uh, we have said for a while that we think better reasoning in these systems is an important direction that we'd like to pursue. We haven't cracked the code yet. Uh, we're, in, we're very interested in it. So we know QSTAR exists and we knew it was probably some type of advanced reasoning system, which seems to check out based on what we've heard so far about this project Strawberry. Now back to the article, it also says that on Tuesday at an internal all hands meeting, OpenAI showed a demo of a research project that it claimed had new human like reasoning skills according to Bloomberg. So just keep this in mind for now because we're gonna be going back to this a little bit later. It later says, AI researchers interviewed by Reuters generally agree that reasoning in the context of AI involves the formation of a model that enables AI to plan ahead, reflect how the physical world functions, and work through challenging multi-step problems reliably. Improving reasoning in AI models is seen as the key to unlocking the ability for the models to do everything from making major scientific discoveries to planning and building new software applications. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said earlier this year that in AI, the most important areas of progress will be around reasoning ability. So further confirming how important reasoning is, and if we can truly get AI systems to reason like humans, which is what OpenAI clearly believes they can do, then we really haven't seen anything yet from AI because this will truly change everything. I mean, just imagine an AI system with all the mass amounts of information and knowledge it has being able to reason like a human, which essentially would mean it can come up with new ideas, solve problems, and even take actions, at least in a digital sense. But with all that information and being able to access it in lightning speed, it would likely be significantly more intelligent than the average human and way faster and more efficient. Then of course you can replicate the tech and have a bunch of these AI systems that you can put to use doing important research like scientific and medical research and even AI research itself. This is of course one of the main goals of OpenAI to eventually have AI 
AI that can do research autonomously. And going back to the human level reasoning that was mentioned earlier, this was the article they were referring to where OpenAI discusses where they're at on the road to AGI. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire article in depth like I did earlier because there simply isn't as much exclusive breaking news like there was in that Reuters article. The main takeaway here is that OpenAI has developed a sort of tiering system with five levels, each level representing progress towards AGI. Level one is chatbots, so something like ChatGPT would be level one because it's a chatbot. You can argue that it can reason at certain times, but definitely not as good as the average human. Then level two, which is the level that OpenAI claims to be approaching with Project Strawberry, refers to, as stated in the article, systems that can do basic problem-solving tasks as well as a human with a doctorate level education who doesn't have access to any tools. So essentially problem-solving skills of a well-educated human being. Then there's level three, which is AI agents, systems that can take action, and we actually do have a rough timeline of when we may start seeing agents. According to Microsoft's AI CEO, Mustafa Suleiman and Anthropic CEO Dario Amode, we will likely start to see AI systems that can perform actions and end-to-end -end tasks autonomously in 2026 or 2027 when we get GPT-6 level systems. This would make sense because if we're following OpenAI's levels of AGI, we are only at level one right now with things like ChatGPT, Anthropic's Claude, Google's Gemini, etc. And we still haven't seen level two systems like Project Strawberry, which is still in the works and obviously not ready for public Public view. Moving on, we have level four, AI innovators. This is when AI starts making new discoveries and solving problems, having massive impact on the world, hopefully in a good way. Then level five is AI that can do the work of entire organizations. And at that point, I mean, what will life even be? It's honestly crazy that this is how one of the largest AI companies in the world envisions our future and that they're actively working on accelerating this future. And it's just crazy to think about the times we're headed towards. This stuff is moving so fast and it's only going to continue to move faster so all we can really do is hold on for the ride and try to make the best of it. Just look at something like OpenAI's Critic GPT, a model based on GPT-4 created to catch errors in ChatGPT's code output. OpenAI found that Critic GPT was significantly better than humans at spotting and correcting errors and when they had humans use Critic GPT as a tool to help them, they were much better than before. But the thing is, even when humans worked together with Critic GPT, they still performed worse than Critic GPT alone. So in a world where AI is advancing exponentially at a seemingly limitless capacity, what place will humans have? This is something that may be hard to think about, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Finally, the last story about OpenAI this week is Apple and Microsoft's decisions to ditch their board seats at OpenAI admits antitrust scrutiny. Microsoft is still heavily backing OpenAI financially, and Apple is still planning to integrate ChatGPT into their products. So this is simply a way for Microsoft and Apple to protect themselves a little bit by distancing themselves from OpenAI. By the way, if you missed all the recent OpenAI drama that is causing this antitrust sentiment, I recently went over all of it in an Another video, so I'll have that appear on screen right now if you want to check it out. In other news, this is a clip I found really interesting of ARK Invest talking about the future of self-driving and the robotaxi industry. We believe robotaxis will be one of the largest AI opportunities of our time, and we expect roughly $28 trillion in enterprise value to be created in 2030 thanks to robotaxis or autonomous ride hail. So to kick it off, why do we care about autonomous ride hail? Well, the cost of personal mobility really hasn't changed in the past 100 years since the Model T. And that's changing now. We expect that at scale, a robotaxi could cost a consumer just 25 cents per mile. That's less than half the cost of a personal car and less than a tenth of a cost of a taxi today. So not only will robotaxis likely be a much cheaper alternative, they will also be much safer. As you can see from the statistics, self-driving cars right now like Waymo and Tesla's FSD are already much safer and crash much less than the national average. Waymo is about twice as safe and Tesla in FSD is up to 16 times safer than the average human. So I think it's a reasonable estimate to say robotaxis will be a multi-trillion dollar industry 
industry because based on the current stats and the fact that these robo taxis are only going to get safer and cheaper as ai advances we're going to come to a point where the benefits overwhelmingly exceed the negatives and driving yourself may just become a thing of the past we also have some news coming from the robotics industry Poland robotics a startup based in poland released a new demo of their robotic hand keep in mind this video is playing at 1x speed so this is in real time and for a robotic hand to be moving that quickly as fluidly as it is is extremely impressive just look at some of their older demos from about a year ago you can see they've made a lot of progress in a short amount of time their end goal is to create an entire humanoid robot that looks and moves exactly like a human and i can imagine that a body like this being paired with a sophisticated ai system that has vision could really change everything we're already seeing some of the insane capabilities of integrating ai systems with vision into robots recently google DeepMind implemented gemini 1.5 pro into a robot to teach it how to respond to commands and navigate its surroundings once the robot learned its environment they were then able to ask somewhat vague questions to it like bring me somewhere where i can draw and it would walk them over to a whiteboard or bring me to the blue area which is their robotics testing room and it was able to understand and remember where that room was we're still so early with robotics right now we're seeing the beginning stages of how this industry is evolving and the speed at which it's advancing is just incredible i don't think people are ready for it it looks like within a few years or even by at least 2030 we'll have humanoid robots that can navigate most environments and do most basic tasks that an average human can do the implications this will have on society are tough to predict but at the very least it'll severely disrupt the labor market and we'll probably start to see humanoid robots becoming commonplace in the average american household finally there was a research paper from microsoft that i came across recently where they figured out a way to encode spreadsheets to help llms better understand them here you can see the framework they use to do this and typically when you feed an llm a spreadsheet because of all the data and the way it's organized it's tough for the llm to comprehend it and make use of the data so by creating a framework in which the spreadsheet is turned into code it makes it a lot easier for the llm to decipher the information and for people who have jobs that involve spreadsheet analysis or pretty much any data analysis on a computer it seems like ai is likely going to take over those jobs or at least change them in a significant way some companies are catching on earlier than others according to this article just recently into it the maker of TurboTax has laid off 1800 workers or about 10 percent of their global staff in an attempt to pivot towards ai this is nothing new we've already seen massive layoffs due to ai but what surprised me about this one is how open and blatant about it their ceo was he stated companies that aren't prepared to take advantage of this ai revolution will fall behind and over time will no longer exist so that's a pretty bold statement coming from the ceo typically companies don't like to admit their layoffs may be due to ai to avoid backlash but this ceo is telling it how it is anyways that's it for me today thank you guys so much for watching if you want to stay up to date on future ai news as we make our way through these incredibly interesting times make sure to hit that subscribe button